Hi, I'm Sal. <laughs> oh, JD's down in hedonism. Oh, I gotta hear, I gotta hear hedonism, JD. It's a different than well, here, you, JD. You think there'll be a change? No, JD. Hey. No. <laughs> what time? What time did you get down there? Do what? Oh, he's there with some chicks. Have you have you on palest visitor yet? What time did you get down there? Uh, we got there about probably like um, seven o'clock last night. And uh, what's the deal? Is that chick in the room with you now? No, we're out. We're actually out sitting outside. Is it really nice outside? Like, like sort of like a restaurant area. Yeah, it's nice. The sun's coming up. Have you gotten laid yet? Um, not laid, laid, but I got uh, I got I got some hand action. I thought she was going to give you the hand job here on the air. Uh, I, Wasn't that the I, plan? Well, I guess not. I don't know. Wait, it was the girl. Was it the girl from the sh Was it the girl from the show? She was one of them. Yeah. There you were get... two other girls there. And so, what are we going to listen to now? We're going to hear you eat lunch or breakfast. <laughs> we're going to hear your boring ass on the phone. Look at how white he is. <laughs> you st what is wrong with those stupid sons of bitches? And no less, I send Doug Goodstein down there to produce. And he doesn't oh. know what to do. No, G and here's pictures of J D getting his oh, hand job. Jesus. Gee, that's good radio. Where's the, is the chick around you now? Yeah, yeah, she's right here. You want, you want me to pass the phone off? Oh, it's that hot chick. What man? Right, the, the girl who was in here. The Puerto Rican Sicilian broad. Yeah, what's her name again? Shiloh. Shiloh. Yeah, let me speak to her. All right. Hey, baby. Hey, why'd you give him the hand job already? Because it was a really nice hello, welcome. He, that and he was trying to go to sleep, so I figured if we woke him up that way, he would come out and party. I'm, look, I'm looking at these pictures. It's three girls giving J.D. a hand job. Yes. Oh, and they're three really hot and girls. And he lasted longer than we anticipated. How long did he last? God, I think he lasted a couple of minutes. <laughs> we expected 17 seconds. Is his penis pathetically small? Actually, I will say his penis is not that small. Not that it actually small. surprised me. Look at his abs. That's what a young is? guy. He's, he's got like, he's got like a big roll of fat on his belly. He's a skinny guy too. He's just kind of loose, right? Was he repulsive? So, you know what I'm doing right now, right? What are you doing? I'm grabbing JD's cock. Uh, where you guys are outside? You're just grabbing his penis? Yeah, I'm just grabbing it. Is there rules on why I can't do that outside in the open? No, you where can do it. Go? I don't care. What do you? Where um, heat? No rules apply. Where did where uh, did any of the chicks bang him or just a hand job? Um, no one um, has banged him. They did give him a hand job. It was me, uh, Nadia Styles, and Rebecca Steele. So he, and I didn't realize he talks like a porn guy when he's like getting a hand job. He was like sitting there cursing us out. He has choked my fucking cock. But, and he says, I want, he called one of us a bitch at one point. Yeah, that's what we wanted to listen yeah, to. Yeah, and we like, wouldn't he have heard my that. my so hard. Like I thought he was like gonna burst my, you know. Your implant. He grabbed he your tit so hard Rebecca he almost Steele broke it. Ass. What? Yeah, he was like, he was spanking Rebecca Steele, cursing out Nadia Style, and like grabbing onto my boobs like it was going to be like the last thing he was going to grab onto. <laughs> anyway, we can recreate that now? I mean, it's kind of like, well, that's, that was the whole thing. We wanted to do it here. Can we recreate it now? I can recreate it. I have Rebecca Steele with me here, too. Oh, no kidding. All right, so put JD yeah. on the phone. And, and I also have Genevieve Jolie with me right now. Why don't you put the? Why don't you put the? Give him the phone and start and uh, and give him a hand job, I guess. Okay. All right. Unless somebody's Hello. willing to do something else, I suppose. Oh, you want? Dude, you're about to get uh, some. Action. You're about to get some action. Yeah, well, I, I got a. I got well. I didn't really get any. Uh, you know, any hard on action going on until after. Um. Try not to get my dick on camera, please. You're not. All right. Yeah, t turn the camera off, then. Like, t turn the camera away. Yeah, well, the sun is still outside, and we got fucking... We want to hear it. Out here. I didn't... Uh -huh. Huh? He's not even focusing. No, I'm focusing. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We'll listen in. You're not focusing that much. He has to wake up. I'm awake. Uh... I think I'm going to end up choking on the air, getting a hard on. Fag. 
He's going to choke? Is that what he said? What are the girls wearing? Um, Rebecca Steele's got the uh, a bikini top and some, like, white tight pants on. And Genevieve Billy has got, like, this tight brown dress. And uh, Shiloh's got this bikini top on and a pair of white pants or whatever. Tell me you're not loving this. Uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> this is not going to work if you're a I, I know it's not going to work. Start talking no, dirty to him. Won't get hard. I think he's afraid. Come on, get to get to work. What is he wearing? I, is he wearing? I, I, you know what? I can't get hard until after like Doug and Greg and everyone left the room. And, All right, get it. You know, tell him to get away from me. Tell him, uh, tell him yeah, to get away well, from you. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. We're out there. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, why'd you call from outside? Why don't you go take him in a room and let's listen in? Uh, I guess I can go back in the room and. Yeah. Happen. Thought, You're disgusting me. You go back to a room in private with those three girls yeah. and let me listen into what's going on. I will call back in two minutes. All right. So they thought you wanted to talk to him outside at a restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's why Doug Goodstein's there. Wanted a blow-by-blow of the breakfast. <laughs> Got him a hand job off the air. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> I mean, really? Like, who wants to hear that? I mean, it could have been anywhere. No. You could send them for yeah. breakfast. Yeah, it was really worth sending them for that. Yeah, uh, last night it was crazy. But I'm sitting here now, I really, I, I'm a little uncomfortable. We're outdoors. I don't think this is going to happen. Gosh. I'm going to choke. It's like well, going... yeah, you're outside <laughs> with, 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 like, where people are around. It's like when we had the hungover, sober Jeff Caro in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, like, you know, <gasps> call, call from a room with a hard line. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's got to be outside on his cell phone, the worst possible connection. Yeah, I mean, like, what, you're going to get a hand job, so you go to the breakfast do- uh, b- restaurant? <laughs> and I like that we fly Doug Goodstein and everyone down there to produce it, and it happens last night. Well, where are they even? Where go Greg like, and like, Doug? Like, what good would that do me? Like, the whole buildup was that he was going to get sex finally. Yeah, he's already <laughs> been relieved, and now yeah. we're worried about him performing. <laughs> The guys who work with me are just tards. <laughs> the problem is they go on these assignments where they don't want to work. Now, I, yeah, I know. Now I know why. Like, like supposedly the whole reason Doug is down there is to he'll know how to produce. Them. Yeah, and it, and it occurs to me. I now I know why my guys are so loyal to me. Nobody else wants them. <laughs> this is pretty much the worst video ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Here, uh, all the, gr- the Vilder, Wilmer Valderrama, who is an actor, came on our show and said he banged Mandy Moore, Jennifer Love Hewitt, um, I forget, a bunch of other chicks, too. Lindsay mm-hmm. Lohan, right? And now all these chicks are coming out of the woodwork screaming about him. Mad as hell, Mandy Moore has just one word for hunky Wilmer Valderrama, and he claims, and his claims that he took her virginity. It's a lie. It's utterly tacky, not even true. And it hurt my feelings because I like him. Blast 22-year-old Mandy, who dated Wilmer for a month in 2002 when she was 18. Who do you think is telling the truth? I'm torn. Yeah. Hey, we got to get Wilmer on the phone. I wonder if he'd ever talk to us again. How does he know he took her virginity? Maybe he didn't. Guy knows sometimes if you you know if you if it's I I've never taken a girl's virginity but I understand there's a hymen or something and it's really hard to push through it's like a big tough piece of the meat to get through and you gotta push it through it like you gotta rip it <laughs> what do you gotta do like rip through it yeah you gotta push your way mm. through tear mm. I had sex once with a chick on this like ski trip that my buddies forced me to go on and she claimed that I did but nothing really I'm like I did and I'm, I'm <laughs> you didn't notice anything I mean no I didn't really notice can anything can you can you use a straw or something to push through it <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> like you know like it seems like I don't want to hurt my penis <laughs> She's like you know you took my virginity the next one I'm like I did well I, isn't something supposed to happen or like... isn't it weird too cuz you figure some chick's going to like take a like a something and shove it up there even a cotex or something just tampon. to get rid of it yeah you mean before a guy does anything yeah or like ride a horse and will pop Maybe she did. Did you actually have a guy break your hymen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think of sticking anything up there. Did it hurt? More than a tampon. Does it hurt? Oh, my God, yes. 
And then you're like, well, who, who's interested in this sex? That's exactly why the first time is usually like that. It's like, what is this? Is this what everybody's talking about? Why do you think a hymen exists? Like, like isn't that weird? Like, it is very strange that in nature that exists. But there must Seal. be a reason based on it. Like, 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 why in nature does a woman have a hymen that needs to be popped? You know what I mean? It's like opening a beer. Yeah. But this was it's like freshness. Yeah, I guess they don't want it to go flat. <laughs> like the, the next morning, it was such bad drunken sex. I started to think, well, maybe I wasn't even like in her pussy. Like, I was fucking like a couch or something. Wow. I mean, I was on top of her and like we were so loaded. I thought maybe I didn't fuck it. <laughs> what? Mm, scary. Yeah. I had that. I had you know. You took a girl's virginity. Yeah, but I mean, I was barely. You know, I it was my second time. But the weird thing was, was that my friend had told me that he had slept with her. So I didn't think she was a virgin. Uh, but he had lied. He didn't have enough dick. And um, No, no, he didn't do it at all. And uh, and it did sound like the sound effects that Fred's making. It was like, I was like, oh, this should be easier from what I've heard. And I'm like pushing and pushing and pushing. And then it was like a, like a almost like an audible noise. Yeah. And, and, then, and then I was done in two strokes. <laughs> And was it a lot of her first time had to suck? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I was out of the so quick. And was it a lot of blood? Yeah. Uh, there was a little tiny bit, a little tiny wow. bit. But, but I thought, like I said, I thought she'd slept with somebody, so you popped a seal. Yeah, but but and I ruined it forever. <laughs> I know a chick, some some dude that beat the piss out of her because she said, you know, I'm a virgin. And then when he went to bang her, there was no pop, you know. And he beat her? Yeah, like he was a kook. Oh, gee. And, uh, oh, my God. She told me about it. And That's it a, a horror. Yeah, because, like, he goes, you you, you fuck someone else. I'm not here for you. Know, like, a guy went berserk, like a real maniac. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like some sick guy. Wow. It's like you douchebag. You know? Get over yourself. A lot of these chicks pop the thing, you know, where they're screwing around with dildos and stuff. Well, that's the, that's the other thing. This was a chick who worked at this resort, and the, like the guy sort of said, she's not a virgin, dude. Like, I'm like, why would you tell me that then? You know, it doesn't make any sense. Doug, hello, good producing. Hello, I see JD got his hand job. You, you know, what, you know, you know, goof on me and, and and make me look like the dumbass here. But no one ever said to me that that was the plan. We said it on the air fifty times. Doug, do you listen to the show, or do you, you tuned into another channel? Are you listening to the well, Spy I Channel? No, but it was, and we were doing a, a, we were trying to do a webcam on here from outside. Why are you calling me on a cell phone? Get on a hardwire phone if you want to speak to me. You know what? We're in Jamaica. I can't do that. What? Do, you I, don't. You're not at a hotel. Off. We are, but you know, you can't. There's no connectivity from a landline. Oh, they did say there were no phones in the room. That guy just wrote you that in the um, email. Well, no, that's it. That's. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, yeah, maybe they're right. Yeah, he knows. There's phones. There's no phone. There's not. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There's phones in the room. You just can't call out. So okay, we'll call you. So why don't you give us a number? But you're okay. the you're the producer, Doug. Okay. Doug. Do what? Okay. So. Doug. Okay. Doug. Let me ask you something. You're a producer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't we call you? Okay, that's fine. But what do you mean? Okay, yeah. that's fine. You don't know how to do that. I do. Uh, this wasn't the plan. Let me get the number. Dude, what are you we'll, doing? We'll, By the way, what are you doing at Hedonism? Like, 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 why are you there? Great, You're just... I'm producing a great one-hour special for Howard Tuesday. But, like, why did you need yeah, to go? I am hands-on, all right? Yeah. I am hands-on. Mr. Hands-on, you, you, you just blew the whole fucking bit. How did I blow the whole fucking bit? The whole idea was J.D. was going to go down there and get a hand job, and we were going to listen in. And no one reconfirmed that with me once. But reconfirm. How many times? I mean, the whole when the girl was here in the studio, we the said. The plan was to go. Was to do a. Was to do a remote we, webcam. We had, Doug. Doug. No webcam. We never mentioned a webcam. We said, JD's going to go down to Hedonism. We're going to listen to him get a hand job for the first time from these hot chicks. Okay. Well, you're about to listen to it. What on your I cell phone? Seconds. No, no, no. We'll get the landline going right now. Holy mackerel, he didn't hear that. Yet? How many meetings do we have about this? Did we unravel He's not in every meeting, but somebody from... from well, I don't demand. care. No, you're right, you're right. Problem? We did, but you, talk, you were very specific about that it should happen on the air for the first time. Doug, what's your wife doing down there? What's that? How's your wife doing down there? She's doing all right. She's having a little vacation. She's down there with you? She is. Your wife is there with you? Yeah. What does she need to be there for? Because I, I flew her out to be with me. All right? I wanted to do the shoot. It's a holiday weekend. 
How come you didn't go to the Siobhan shoot? Uh, because I would have thrown up. <laughs> Dude, stop busting my balls, seriously. You what, know? Do you mean, what do you mean stop busting your because balls? I, because this is what I like to do. I could produce hands-on but Doug, these, these really cool remotes, and I'm going to get a great one-hour special. Doug, you're, you're the executive producer. That's like, like Jeff Zucker at NBC going, you know what? I'll go. I'll go direct the episodes of uh, Deal or No Deal because I like to direct. You're the executive producer. Yeah, and I'm hands on everything. I heard Doug, I the only reason the only reason Doug's wife's there was the only reason, way he was allowed to go. He had to take her in order yeah. to get the not the job. Huh? That's what I heard. That's, that's not true. Well, you heard it from Will or Gary. And that's not true. So when 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 JD was getting his hand job, what did you? Why did you think we sent him down there with, with those porn chicks? Well, he apparently didn't know anything about it either, about it happening on the air. So he doesn't know about it. I don't know. Well, he didn't say anything. He, he never said, says anything. He said in every meeting yeah. too. That's a good point. He didn't say, "Are we supposed to do this on the air?" Like, and Greg is here too. Like, none of us knew about this, so I don't know where the miscommunication. Greg is, is there. And no one on my side said anything <laughs> about it either. It's the first. Uh, I got. I got to go. You're giving me a headache. Goodbye. You give me. Oh, I mean, I mean, you got to be kidding me! I never heard webcam. What's webcam? No, webcam is something they wanted to do for you, which would have been fine, but it wasn't the point of going down there. In other words, we went down there to have them do it, and if we right. could send a webcam back and you could see it, great. Yeah, who cared? But they got the webcam last night. <laughs> it was working last night. Yeah, last night it was no problem. See, my complaint we weren't on the air. My complaint was that, like, when Doug goes and does his shoots, he wants him to look good for television, which I understand, which is why they were probably outside by the pool, but it affects the bit. For JD to be trying to get a hand job at a pool. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no. If anything, Doug going down there has made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> He's done nothing to facilitate this. Right. Will JD finish before the end of the show? That's the bet on the table. All right, thank you. Let's see. I mean, I mean, nobody's talking to anybody. But even, I mean, what? Why but would? J, well, I guess JD's just going to take a hand job whenever he can of get course. it. Of course, you can't blame him. <laughs> yeah. I'm not blaming him. <laughs> He's D just I mean, going to go for it. Doug's supposed to be down there for a reason. I don't even know. I wouldn't have sent him. Uh, I'm not even sure why he's there. Well, apparently you could have sent anybody from there, and it would have all gone wrong because they don't. Nobody knows. Yeah. Good job. Oh, idiot. <laughs> Don't bust my balls, guy goes. I sent the guy all the way down to hedonism to listen into him have sex. The heck out of me. Gosh. Remember how funny it was when Beetlejuice had sex oh, on the yeah. phone? That was the whole point. That's what we talked about. That's why I was going to send him down to South America. Or Central America. We couldn't even remember Whatever. where we were we sending him. You know, we realized we have no idea of geography. <laughs> According to this magazine, Michelle Rodriguez from Lost is now with the hot chick from Terminator. She's a lesbian? That's Ooh, what they're claiming. Nice. Lost star Michelle Rodriguez has been caught cuddling with self-confessed lipstick lesbian Cristana Loken. Oh, my oh, God. Geez. Oh, is she hot? You mean the one from Terminator 3? Three. Three? Yeah. Or 4? Whatever, whatever it was. Whatever it was. Yeah, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. She's been open about her bisexuality, and Rodriguez, who just spent four days in jail for drunken driving in Hawaii, has never denied her love of the ladies. Oh, my God. Well, Rodriguez is back in jail now. Yeah, she looks hot, too. I like her, and I like, oh, my God, I, I'm in love with that chick from Terminator 3. She is super smoking hot. Can you imagine the two of them romping around together? Marone. Let's see. We hang out, we drink. When they were doing, a, they were doing a movie together. Michelle Rodriguez and this hot chick from Terminator Three. She bounced from woman to woman, a woman nuzzling her face in their breasts. Then she picked out her hot gal and tight jeans, and they settled in on one of the club's king size beds to the light of the cheering crowd. They danced together, circling each other and shaking their booties on a wobbly mattress until they finally fell to their knees and began rubbing their chests together. Where are you when all these parties are going no, on? Nowhere. This is happening in a club somewhere? Yeah, I can't even get a guy to get a hand job on a radio. <laughs> Pretty amazing. It says here, Marie Osmond's daughters post sex secrets on the Internet. What? She's got daughters old enough to be having sex? Yeah, it's great. Jessica, 18, is using the screen name. I think it's Fuck Off. Um... <laughs> 
on MySpace.com or something. It says bleep off. And that she's bisexual, she wants sex on a daily basis as many times as possible. She describes her favorite sexual positions and graphically describes other intimate details about her sex life. Poor Marie Osmond. Like, she's like so goody two shoes. And religious. Yeah. Jessica lists Hitler as her role model. Oh, my goodness. Not exactly a Mormon. 16 year old Rachel, Marie's biological daughter, is no less rebellious. On her MySpace website, she describes in very crude terms her fantasies of sleep with rock star David Bowie. And she says she loves having sleepovers with cute boys. Wow. So Marie Osmond had to post a personal message. I am saddened by some of the choices the two of our children have made. My husband and I have been aware of these struggles for some time now, and along with our children, we continue to deal with them proactively. Like any other parent or child, we had hoped to deal with these challenges privately as a family instead of in a public forum. The insidious potential for harm from adolescent Internet sites like MySpace.com only exacerbates these kinds of problems. Oh, now it's the website's fault. Right. If there wasn't a website, we wouldn't be dealing with this. Hmm. This is like if Artie had a kid and the kid disavowed devil dogs. Oh, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> yeah, the kid wanted to be a vegetarian. Yeah, that ain't happened. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars' mysterious collapse. Uh, Stacy Keebler collapsed from a brain seizure recently on May 16th and was rushed to the hospital. How many guys probably tried to jump on top of her in the middle of her brain seizure? God, what a body on that chick. That's an ass that doesn't quit. Yeah, she is. Uh, well, what's yeah. it doing having seizures? Oh. Yeah, why is her body having seizures? <laughs> now the Leggy Stars' loved ones are worried sick about her because doctors can't find the cause of Stacy's seizures. Imagine you're in bed with her and she locks up. It's going to be a wild ride. I told you about Mr. X telling me the story of once being in bed with a woman, and, and she all of a sudden started acting really wild. Mm. And he thought, wow, I must be really good at this. <laughs> and she was having an asthma attack. And he thought she was twitching because she was so good. Right, yeah. <laughs> and it turned out she was really having a problem. Chicks with asthma are the best to bang. <laughs> J.D. Huh? Hey, J.D. You don't, no, I'm here. You didn't know that you were supposed to get a hand job on on the phone. I I sort of did, but I like I didn't know the whole plan. I wasn't like you know. I, I'm just I don't know. I didn't know what was supposed to be going down, what wasn't supposed to be going down. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he sort of did. So what do you got? The girls in your room now? Uh yeah, and I got like fifty other people, but they all have to leave now. <laughs> hey, get them out of here. Camera around, huh? Get them out of there. Let's have some fun. Uh, man. Third leader. <laughs> yeah, back off, Greg. He's got three of the hottest porn stars in the room with him. Yeah, I got I got two. Oh, what do you got there? Uh, I guess I love and then this new girl, other girl. Uh, you remember that girl that squirted in Gary's eye? Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah. And she's good looking too. What's her name? Yeah, she's hot. All... Oh yeah, I know. That's the that Asian girl, right? Yeah, she is hot. Nice tits. <laughs> What's her name? Annie Cruz. Fanny Cruz? Annie Cruz, C R U Z. Danny Cruz? Yeah. Danny? Annie, A N N I E. Annie. God, he mumbles like a. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, getting, I'm not mumbling. What are you naked there? Uh, no, no, no. I, I can be though. Uh. What do you? What, what's going on? Describe to me what's going on right now. Um, me and the girls are sitting in the uh, chair in the room, in like a sort of love seat type thing. Ask them if they're going to do something to you. No, uh, uh, are you guys? Are you girls ready to? Hello. Are you girls ready to give me a hand job now? I don't know. Are you going to take your damn pants off? Uh, uh, hold on, I got to put the phone down. But well, let me tell. Well, give it to the girls. What are you wearing, girls? Oh, dude, I'm not going to get hard if I'm talking to Howard. He doesn't want to talk, but let me see if I can keep the phone next to him. Yeah, keep the phone next to him. What are you wearing? I am wearing some sheer white pants with a bikini that barely, really isn't a bikini at all. I should just be called a piece of paper. <laughs> Jesus. Why am I even doing and this for him? Annie is wearing a cute skirt with just a top. What technique are you going to use on old J.D.? I am using, right now, I'm getting ready to spit on his cock. <laughs> I'm going to use the shut my eyes and pretend it's a hot guy <laughs> technique. Is he vile? And 
And now I am just rubbing the tip of his head. With what? With my hands. And Annie is right now rubbing on his balls. Wow. Is it gross? He's getting hard. Is it gross? Oh, yeah. Yes? No, actually, he actually isn't. I'm very surprised. For, I was like, he's baffled me. But yesterday, he actually got picked up at the club. <laughs> well, try, he said no, but he got picked up on. Put, up, put him on the phone so we can hear him, like, ordering you around and stuff. Okay. See, he's going to clam up on us. Yeah, I'd like to be able to get hard if I'm talking to you. Don't talk. Just let me listen to what you're saying to him and stuff. Okay. All right. Forget I'm here. Yeah, i got to put the phone down. i gotta, I got to touch your shoulder, all right? <laughs> well, keep, that, keep that phone near your mouth so we can hear you yelling out stuff. <laughs> got to touch these girls. <laughs> so now he's grabbing our chips. There you go. Uh-oh. Well, what was it that we wore yesterday? Dirty little bitches. Dirty little bitches. I didn't get hard for dirty little bitches. Yeah. This one. Yeah. There you go. That's what you want. I know he's a freak and he starts yelling out dirty words. Right. Yelling about his penis. My and... name is spit on it. Yeah. Spit on it. <laughs> get the phone closer to that mumbly bastard. <laughs> dorkiest guy in the world at a place that where he's like now like king of the hill yeah Ooh. Hey, Come on. Come on. get that phone closer to his mouth yeah hard enough to understand them now we can barely hear him Come on. There you go. Good boy. What did he do? Can't even get that phone near his mouth. I know. It's not like Beetlejuice. That guy, that guy talks to you while he's banging. He's a performer. Hmm. Hey, girls, what's going on? I don't think anybody's holding the phone. Well, we're getting so dissed. I think it's time for the homeless game. I'm going to bail on this. What do you think? See how fast those girls leave the room as soon as I hang up. Hey, what happened? I can't hear anything. He is right now telling us to stroke his fucking cock. Yeah, well, let's. Get, you got to work that uh, phone a little better so I can hear what's going on. It's actually right next to his his mouth, but he doesn't want to talk loud. What are you doing to him now? Right now, I am playing with his balls, and Annie is rubbing on the top of his head, and he is completely hard. But now he doesn't want to touch it. So gross. Oh, uh, now he's touching. Now he's like grabbing boobs. There he go. There you go. Cock is rock hard. Come on. Make that fucking cock come from. Oh. There you go. Good. Mm. These girls are pros. There you go. There we go. Come on. Give us that big fucking load. Here, JD. Give us that big load. <laughs> This kid is so backed up. How is he not just blowing his load? Can you hear that? What was that? That's us stroking his cock right now. <laughs> That's so gross. Taking a JD. Like, <laughs> really, I try not to think of who they're doing yeah. this to. You know what? I'm going to bail, I think. <laughs> I think I think this is terribly misguided. This whole bit. Yeah, JD's not going to help us out here and actually talk on the phone. Yeah, he's he sucks. No, let me see if I can convince him to get on the phone. All right, go ahead. And talk. All right, well, tell there. him you're not going to rub him anymore right. if he doesn't. Coming. There you go. Come on. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like okay. that. Don't like that. Right. Tell us what you want us to do. Just fucking dick off. Oh. <laughs> I can't hear you. He's, he's a <laughs> freak. Dick off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You're going to come? You know you want to. You want to yeah. that big load for it? Yeah. <laughs> so gross. Mm. He's so sick. Come on. <laughs> I, think he, I think he needs to talk dirty to get yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. It's all come angry. Say you my goddamn way. I feel fucking good. I feel fucking good. 
These girls are the greatest actresses in the world. You know they're repulsed right now. Oh, they want to oh, be right. somewhere else. There you go. Oh. Talk dirty to them. That'll get them going. He can't talk. You talk dirty to him. That'll get him nuts. Okay. Come on. Let me go and run on that. Come on. Mm. You know you like it. You love it when it's about to come. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. That's home. <laughs> it's a coach and a baby. Give it to me. Give it to me, please. Hurry up and let me get out of here. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything. But Actually, losing wood. He's losing wood. <laughs> He's losing wood. <laughs> give, give me, put, that, put him on the phone. <laughs> put him on the phone. <laughs> You're a little freak. What, dude? You lost your wood? No, it, it's like it's not totally, but he's a fan. Dude, you never even get any chicks, and you can't even get anything going. Uh, okay. okay. Right, get out of here. Goodbye. I'm leaving you. Get out of there. Okay. You know, you know what it is? Those, he knows what those girls are thinking. They're like, "Come on, JD, hurry up and come so I can go meet a hot guy." But if he hadn't gone last night, we might have done better today. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Doug to give you a hand job instead. Anyway, there's JD from her hedonism. <laughs> what a rip. What a rip off. We flew him all the way down there for that lame. He got a free vacation sucky off us. Sucky bit. And all the action happened last night. Well, at least Doug got a vacation out of it. Yeah, he's down there yeah. with his bride having a second honeymoon. <laughs> you know how good I feel about that. <laughs> All right, where's that cat who wants to play? Oh, Lisa G's here with the headlines. Hey, Lisa, come on in. I'm sorry. Deanna Margulies has been working out because she looks good. That is not her. I think it but, is her. Uh, and the titties and the whole thing. You don't see her face in that scene. Once Maybe you're again. right. The ass. You know what? Try and get her on the phone because I'd like to. We just want to ask her one question, not an extensive interview. We just want to know. Is that you or not? Well, I say it's her. the woman who it was, call it. Those were pretty incredible abs. Didn't you think they were like... Incredible abs, incredible ass. I'd rather have the woman who it really was come in and ride the Sibian. <laughs> right. Whoever that was has to come in and ride the Sibian. <laughs> you weren't annoyed at all. Like, I, like, I always think it's weird, like the Christmas thing in the middle of June. I, I think that like that show was meant to be watched at Christmas, and they're just so late getting everything done. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think uh, they all... I, I love the show. I don't care. I, I don't do, care too. What's... Time it is in the show. I'll right. say that uh, I I'm not as crazy with waiting for the next season as I like. In other words, I, like the last couple of season enders, I'm like, fuck, I can't wait. Right. I don't have that much of that with this one. I do. It, it might be losing it. Can you explain bit. one thing to me? I don't, so so Tony wanted the the guy to die, the guy that had the heart attack, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, fuck him. I hope he dies. And then all of a sudden he went there and got all, you know, because he related to him laying right. in the bed. Right. Because he's been there. But but he was, I don't know, the guy was laying in the bed before. If he had just croaked, Tony would have been fine, but right. the guy lived. <laughs> and he thought about it. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I don't understand is why he's still going to the therapist. That was a good uh, rejoinder where he said, you know, nothing, this therapy comes to nothing for me. Why am I still here? Well, Lorraine Bracco needs to be in the show. Oh, they, right. they paid her. She said, I need to be in the show. Yeah. What, what about that creepy? Well, it's clear he's just torn inside trying to figure out what to do. But... How about Gandolfini's weight? I mean, oh, yeah. he's, he's getting scared. There, there, wow. There's a scene where he's standing stomach to stomach with Juliana Margulies. Yeah. And he's enormous. I yeah. love when he eats the ice cream off his stomach. Yes, J.D. <laughs> I think the main thing out of the Sopranos last night was A.J.'s new girlfriend and how hot she was. The black chick? She went, uh, Puerto she's, Rico. she's Dominican. Dominican, man. Dania, Dania Ramirez. <laughs> she is hot. Hottest girl ever. How do you know her? I, I, just, I looked her up. As soon she as I saw the episode. Nude? Huh? Yeah. No, no. She on MrSkin.com? No, she, she hasn't done anything nude yet. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, this Not is yet. JD back from hedonism. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk about that later. Which was a total waste. Yeah, we'll get to the... Was, I heard he got one hand job. Yeah, we'll get to the... The J one I set up for him. Uh, you know what? Can I tell you something? I talked to him on... Uh, when did I talk to him? I talked to him last week, and I said... So what happened? He goes, well, you know, it's hard. And I go, what's hard about it? I go, you did really? it. Oh, the cameras, the cameras, and everything. And I go, so what? When the cameras are up, you do it. You know what I'm saying? All fat black chicks, and little couples. And I was like, I was like, dude, just fuck someone. Yeah, Start know. drinking. That leads to uh, I'm sex not with black chicks. Just anyone, dude. Try, like, no, 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 like no. what? I don't know what you're saying. Ninety percent of people there were like, you know, couples and. I'm not interested in banging someone in front of her boyfriend, or Dude, husband. You, you take what you get. Was that offered to you? 
Um, n- you know what? Nothing no, was no, really, like, no. flat out offered to me. Like, some six-year-old woman in a nurse's uniform sort of hit on me. You know what JD's like? JD's like the preacher's son. My son goes to hedonism, and there's no straight women there. <laughs> the only ones that were were married, but ugly. <laughs> what, uh, you ever hear of a preacher calling girls ugly? Uh, let me ask you something. We set you up down in hedonism. Yeah. You're telling me married couples are the only thing available? No, well, not, they're not like married, but I mean, you know, there, there was just a lot of couples there. Right. And you didn't really see many like, you know, I just thought hedonism was swinging. the girls, and unless you know they were sort of you know heavy black women or <laughs> heavy know. black women. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Bang that. Heavy black <laughs> women. Here's what he told me. He told me that. <laughs> What is happening in families? <laughs> My son went to hedonism and got one fucking hand job. <laughs> And my son is no loser. <laughs> he came back and he said, my God, Dad, it was all fat black chicks and couples who wanted to fuck me. And I said, son, what's up with your membrane? He told me something about that there was one of the porn chicks who was flirting with him. But he did nothing about it because he didn't believe that a porn chick would be interested in him. No, and then I don't it, believe And then when it came time to leave, she was like interested in him, and she was leaving. <laughs> yeah, I said a porn chick ain't interested in you. <laughs> Look at you, you're a fucking dog. <laughs> Actually, and it's causing but, problems in our family. How long were you down at hedonism? Uh, two or three days. Two gay days. <laughs> you tell us how many days he was. I've come to terms that my son is. <laughs> it's destroying us. <laughs> My son has become a faggot. You still could make it. And, and we live in a time now. Brothers have been so uh, put down. Can't get a job. He can't get a job. This boy TiVo's for a living. I don't know what the fuck to do with him. <laughs> We sent you down there to get women, uh, and uh, you came back empty except for the hand job I arranged. Uh, this is a bigger I got, disaster I got, than the three faces of Ronnie. Uh, hey, fuck, uh, fuck you, dude. Do you want sound of the hand job? How long, how long oh, no. did you end up staying down there? Uh, see, it was th- we got there Thursday night and left Sunday morning or oh. Sunday afternoon. So, right, you know. <laughs> as long as it took for him to blow a guy. <laughs> Dude, that. you couldn't get hooked up at hedonism, man. And with those, and, in three nights. <laughs> you couldn't get laid in a female prison with a pack of cigarettes. You're on the Howard Stern <laughs> show, and it's practically a porn convention. Well, hey, give him a, 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 a break. No give him a break. A lot of women now are lesbians. Uh, yeah! <laughs> my son went to... My son, who is quite a looker, went to hedonism <laughs> and couldn't get laid. There are girls with websites who need mentions, and you couldn't get laid? There's no feelings back there. <laughs> what happened when uh, this, the second hand job was when we got you the hand job? Yeah. 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 That was, yeah. That you couldn't really complete? No, I couldn't complete. I Three... can't pay chicks to fuck this kid. <laughs> Three, Three naked women working on me can't complete. Uh, two. Two that time. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, one of those ran off. They had three. One of them got away. What, what was the first hand job? That was the night. Of course, I wanted to save that for the radio, but all yeah. right, whatever. And uh, what what was that like for you? Um, well, you know, I was like half awake because I, I passed out, you know, as soon as we got there. And all of a sudden, you know, three porn girls and a camera barge into the room. And, you know, it was... <laughs> Oh, how God, are... what a disaster! <laughs> Three porn girls barged into your room. And those girls were hot. Everything yeah, dude. sounds like a tragedy when he talks about it. No, no, it was fine. <laughs> I was just listening to the tape of him getting a hand job and finishing oh, and geez. talking dirty, but it was... It's a lot of girls yelling, mostly. Yeah. My my girlfriend looked at the picture on the website. She was like, I'm never talking to J.D. <laughs> what picture? You know, him laying there in the bed. Oh, I said, hey, here it is. That oh. She realized he needs help. I, I know. I said, what's the big deal? He got a hand job. She's like, oh, it's disgusting. I go, uh, you know. <laughs> My God, you're right. It looks like a living hell down there. <laughs> well, you wouldn't think it was much fun listening to him talk about uh, it. 
He's depressed uh, about it. I just, you know, I got you know, a camera on my face, you know. Uh, These girls, they all walked in the room and they were jerking me off. He doesn't, he doesn't I was wanna, half asleep and I woke up and three girls were with he me. He doesn't want to do or doesn't know how to do Sweet. any work whatsoever. Meaning, to talk to a girl, he's got no rap. If they're not going to come and fuck him, then he doesn't know what to do. Well, that's I, yeah. why porno has ruined this country in a sense. And I hate to say this. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the big users big of porno. Fan. But every guy expects, like, every chick to just whip their clothes right. off and blow it's them. It's destroying us! <laughs> <laughs> They're throwing the pussy in your face! <laughs> well, Jay, did you talk to anybody? Did you, like, try to make, <laughs> talk to the porn chicks? Yeah. Talk to them, drop the, 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 the show name? For yeah. Christ's yeah. sake, fuck somebody! Uh, yeah, talk Even to people. Even some of the couples, they, a guy would have let you go off with his girl. Uh, to you know, I'm, I'm with JD on that one. Uh, I don't want to be banging some guy's chick. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, that, that, that he leads. doesn't know how much of a chick they were because he never talked to anybody. I'm sure there were single chicks there. JD just doesn't have the radar. That, that could the... lead to the guy fucking you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> JD doesn't have that radar. Mm. You know, he, he just... He's got gator! <laughs> <laughs> so was it worth going down there? Uh, yeah, it was something, you know, I, I saw and experienced. and You got a nice know. tan. <laughs> <laughs> that was your first time out of the country, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get a passport? Yeah. Yeah. Could you? Let's see that passport. Oh, we had to let him back in. I, yeah, I, I can bring it in. Oh, I mean, it's not hard. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you. Good luck. What? Get out of here, faggot! What a great segment that turned out to be. <laughs> yeah. Do the chickens have large talons? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Chào các mọi người. Và hôm nay bên em lại về một chiếc xe Hyundai i10 sản xuất 2014. Chiếc xe phiên bản màu đỏ và động cơ 1.0 số sàn. Chiếc xe này thì đã qua mùa lũ rồi. Vì vậy là có một cái mức giá rất là rẻ. Tuy nhiên là trước khi báo giá thì em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe. Và bên em này về rất nhiều các dòng xe khác nữa. Qua mùa lũ mọi người nhé. Đậu bên kia đường một dãy này của xe em hết đấy. Bây giờ em sẽ quay tổng thể con xe này. <cười> 